Yep, and speaking of the other match, uh, let's go ahead and move on to our second uh, semifinal match. So it looks like uh, we have Martini against Miniarec, and it's kind of a, a similar story as the other side of the bracket. You kind of have this, you know, established veteran against, like, you know, the up-and-coming talent. Um, like, I know uh, C-Rams and Martini have kind of been around for a little bit, but, um, you know, still, still on the rise. Like, Nebula and, and Mini have kind of been you know, they've kind of been like grandmasters or, or, you know, monsters, like as long as I can remember. Um, and yeah, let's, uh, let's kind of see how it, how they got here. So, um, many, you know, a pretty, pretty tough match right off the bat and Astutine effect. Um, also, uh, Yash, you know, turned out to be a pretty tough opponent. Um, Yash had a great, great tournament this time around. And, um, yeah, Martini kind of had a similar first round fire lord ethan another one of those really strong kind of newer players who you know you just don't want to face right now um scout you know pretty strong pretty strong player who's been around for a while um so yeah how are you how are you feeling about this matchup well i think mini orc uh somebody's definitely going to correct me on this but mini orc almost certainly i think in the last like five years has the most like uh wins or at the very least being in the finals of any player i think just because they're almost always there um so i think as the person like seven out of ten ish people are expecting to be in that finals but martini uh has been up in the big leagues with those people and i don't think has made a finals ever and they've been due for one for a little bit of time so this is the time they have to beat mini arc um yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry, Mini he... does get second place in cups a lot. Yeah, <laughs> that's true, Crash. Um, but yeah, I think Martini is definitely not the favorite. Uh, but also, if they win, that means two people from the same group are in the finals, which I don't. It probably has happened at some point before, but still very interesting. So. Yeah, just just a really interesting matchup all around. Like like Mini is just really that that consistent player. He's just kind of just good at everything really um like doesn't really stand out in any one particular area just kind of strong across the board and like martini is the pathing sniper like you know mini Eric is a pathing sniper martini is the pathing sniper so like all the good pathing snipers you know they're probably studying martini um like he really just kind of goes deeper into it than anyone else so that's going to make for an interesting matchup so let's go ahead and uh, get into the draft Um, I mean, we can skip over some of this a little bit because it's the same two venue sets as the first one. Uh, because as we all know, once we get to the corner finals, uh, everyone's decided that two of the venue sets are far superior than the other two, apparently. That's how it happens. Um, yeah. Like the only, we can talk only... about the bands and doubles still. Yeah, like the only interesting thing to me is that Martini Band Aquarium, which is like the most like pathing heavy venue that I'm aware of. But maybe he just knows that like Mini Eric knows the pathing just as well. And uh, maybe he thinks his edge will be bigger on other venues like Modern, which he doubled. And um, yeah, Mini uh, kind of took a similar strategy as C Rams, just taking Courtyard, where like pathing isn't that big of a thing. Band Pub, I guess. I guess, as mentioned earlier, there are some. Uh, Definitely some some pathing knowledge on on pub. I, I think I, I could be way off, but I'm just gonna attribute everything to pathing. So just 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 knowing that you know it's uh, it's a huge theme here. Yeah, I definitely think the pub ban and the modern double is definitely pathing. I think aquarium is more just uh well first off, uh, mini orc and like. I guess Nebula are the two people whose spies are good enough where they can counter pathing to a little extent. So Martini can't lead into pathing too much. Uh, but Aquarium's more of a, I guess they just don't want to get shark walked on and Mini Orc's absolutely one of the better people on there. So I, I would ban Aquarium just about every time facing Mini Orc. So that makes sense. And then I guess Courtyard's just Mini Orc feels more confident on Courtyard. I don't actually know. Who knows? We can't read minds. If we could, <laughs> we'd have a lot more to talk about, I guess. <laughs> you know, well put. And uh, with that, we're going to get right into Modern. So starting off on Martini's double, and looks like Miniarek is going to be the first one on the spy side, spying as wheels in three, two, 
one playing it. Let's see if we get another cheesy microfilm right away. And the answer is no. Very sad. Yeah, no Bill early would be the character to do it, probably. So uh, we're just going to go to bar. Interestingly enough, we just join up at the bar. Not uh, not even demanding. No, no cheese to be seen here. Looks like. Yeah, because actually we're waiting in a pretty long line, so. I wonder if Minnie is actually just planning to go straight for like a, a just straight delegate to start the game off. It's a, uh, I don't know. It's I've seen it work, but it's it's one of those maybe kind of low percentage plays. But um, yeah, we'll we'll see what Minnie has in mind here. So joining in immediately with the ST, getting that white flirt, and um, yeah, just kind of taking it slow so far. I want to point out, I'm pretty sure this is bar highlights, and we have because I guess we're wheels behind that big conversation evaded getting a bar highlight so if we get a delegate off and it goes uh we might just not be suspected at all if uh we were just missed at bar uh so that be could be cool but i'm not entirely sure if those are the highlights because it's you know martini and they could just be doing pathing highlights or something yeah and i feel like because i called it a low percentage play it's just gonna work now and like we're not even gonna be like we're not even gonna be suspected of being part of this purloin chain so uh yeah, actually, this is uh, kind of working out. I think as long as this Perlion uh, timer doesn't delegate. I think it just expired. Yeah, so actually we didn't get credit for this. and uh, I'm really interested as to what would have happened there. But instead, we're just going to get uh, flirt progress. And you know what? We're at the bar for the second time, and we're still not a highlight. So uh, what? what is going on with that? Yeah, I think it might have just been the initial bar goers, if it's not pathing. Um, which tracks, like, if you are in a party and you see a big R immediately, you are going to probably highlight everyone there no matter what. So keeping them up is not a not a terrible idea. Because uh, a spy would want to join there because their ST might be there. So, I don't hate it. One thing I'm worried actually... about Martini Sniper is that he will take early highlights to protect against cheese. So I am wondering if it was kind of only need the bar highlights at the start for cheese purposes yeah that's that's definitely one possibility yeah because it seems like the highlights aren't really changing um yeah kind of one thing i noticed so the per line actually does come off so let's see uh, if martini notices yeah one thing i was noticing is like we really only have about five low lights oh yeah and we do we do pick up the highlights so I think Martini kind of has us nailed down, um, at least as a suspect. Oh, we get the reverse drive-by on Tex. Um, only, like, the slightest bit of that was visible, because the uh, Irish was blocking most of our body. Uh, what, what do you think about that bug, Guggy? Uh, I'm, uh, I'll be honest. I didn't even know there was a bug until I looked down the at the bottom of the screen, and it said, Bugged Ambassador while walking, and I was looking directly at the spy from the sniper view. So I think this is completely and utterly clean. Um, I didn't even register that there could have been a bug there. That is, I think, potentially the best Wheels bug of all time. As a notable hater of Wheels' bugs, perfect, amazing, no notes, let's get the contact. I th we might be shot because we're a top suspect, I think, after that prayer line, but I think it's going to be a hard Banana shot to bread. take. Oh, Apparently yeah, it's not a hard bullet, shot to so, take. Uh... But <laughs> it is a hard t shot to take correctly. Yeah, great game from uh, Mini. Um, honestly, that bug really was a highlight of, of that round for me. Um, yeah, I don't. I really just don't like Wheels' bug. But yeah, I guess when players are body blocking for you, it's uh, not not so bad. We'll say his reverse drive by bug isn't terrible, but it's more of the standing bug or the walking bug. That's definitely his best bug, but it's still not great. So, yep. All right, moving on to the next round. Looks like Martini is going to be spying now as Boots in three, two, one, playing it. And you know, we talk about Martini's uh, sniping a lot, but um, honestly, in uh, like all the games I've seen from him, his spy actually is pretty interesting. Um, definitely not afraid to take some chances. And speaking of which, uh, we just white swap <laughs> right off the bat. 
Yeah, so, uh, don't hate this at all. Like, you're going to want to go balls to the walls uh, in some games, and this is absolutely, uh, absolutely that. Yeah, so uh, thank you for backing me up on that, Martini, you know, talking about how you like to take chances. <laughs> it's kind of funny because, like, swap is one of those things where it's kind of strong when you're a newer player. Um, like, as an intermediate player, it's not as good anymore because everyone looks for it. And then, like, when you're a strong player, it becomes good again because, like, no one's expecting it. So, like, like a lot of good players will just, well, they'll memorize the statues a little bit later on because they're not really, they're not really expecting those early cheese swaps anymore. Absolutely agreed. Um, I, I will say, I think recently I've realized that Martini is taking sort of an approach just by sort of like Crazy Kaylee in a lot of senses where uh, he just knows he's competent on the sniper and is just going to try to take those one or two spy wins in any way possible. And I think this is uh, one of the best the uh, examples of that, of just, uh, you know what, let's try this. And if it doesn't work, oh well. I'm probably going to win the sniper games anyway. Um, because even if Martini does lose it, it's a draw and not a uh, a sweep. So I do... I, I like it. It's fine. Yeah, I completely Also, there's agree. a pearl line that went off and I didn't notice. <laughs> yeah. So you're, you're not alone. Um, I did not see that one either. So uh, both players um, kind of with a similar strategy. Uh, I wonder if Martini is going to return to statues. It's a little scary going back and finishing inspects in a situation like this where a pearl line has already gone off. And a contact has already gone off. Um, actually, no, that would be insane. We're just going to finish a flirt. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, that, that that we're just getting shot in that yeah. case. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Feel free to ignore me. And, uh, yeah, so we hit the green flirt, which is probably the best thing that could have happened in this situation. And it's got to be really hard for Mini to find this shot. Yeah, and hard it definitely is because, uh, yeah, we are not shot. Yep, so uh, wow. two, two spy wins on Modern against two insane snipers, just as we all suspected. Absolutely. <laughs> Both um... games where a pearl line went off. All right, so um, let's see uh, if Mini can uh, continue the spy party as Rocker in three, two, one, playing it. Yeah, I, I have nothing more to add. Um, yeah, Rocker obviously is a spy. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not a great too much caster. I was I was heavily uh, asked to join, and I let everyone down. Let's go. Uh, we're at Red Book House, <laughs> and we're uh, we're reading. You can take it from here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can just kind of let the players carry for us because, you know, these are uh, some very interesting spy games so far, to say the least. Like, usually you expect something like Modern to be extremely sniper favored, but uh, no, <laughs> not the case. Uh, going in for inspects, not doing a. Uh, well, okay, this is many this time. Yeah, not. not Swap is not in the plans, but just getting a single inspect in hand, and uh, I think we ate a highlight just for that one inspect. I mean, it's Martini. That was probably a pathing highlight in some regards. Um, but it's Martini, so you're probably going to get a pathing highlight at some point anyway. Uh, yeah, Miniworks just taking a flirt and then leaving immediately, which I think was legal because we were interrupted. Um, and going into the conversation with the contact. Yeah, like, one of the things is, like, playing, like, a really good pathing sniper like it can really freeze you like you don't want to move around the venue you don't want to like really do much of anything and it it can really throw off your pacing um and the end of red i think mini might be one of the few who's maybe a little bit immune to that just because he knows the pathing well enough that he can kind of navigate within those boundaries um and i mean so far the pathing looks fine it's like obviously it's never going to be perfect but um good enough that we're you know not going to just outright die for it um so yeah i mean two minutes in we got you know, some pretty decent progress across the board. I think, um, you know, we have d pretty decent pacing so far. I mean, I guess the question, though, is just what's going to be that last hard tell. And also the first hard tell as well, if we're not doing inspects. Because as we all know, if we do inspects, then we're going to be watched for whatever other mission we do. So we don't necessarily have to finish those inspects. Um, I, we've still got a minute and 45 to decide. 
Uh, SG's gonna come right to us, and we're gonna get shot, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, All we, right. got we got shot for one inspect contact flirt. So um, in in any case like this, I'm just gonna say pathing and just assume that that's what we we died for. And uh, actually, I think yeah. it's a little bit of flirt pairing too, because yeah, I guess he didn't like how we we talked right as uh, right as our ST joined us. I I would probably shoot for that too if I knew they were pathing or something. <laughs> Absolutely, so I can definitely shoot for it. If I knew they were pathing or something, great, perfect. Um, right. Yeah, so we're, we're heading move. over. Yep, moving on to the. We're next heading one. over this to time, the last like, game of Modern. All right, you you All right. take. It. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Cookie. All right, so it looks like Boots. Uh, I'm sorry, Martini will be spying as Boots in three, two, one, playing it. I have not casted in. Way too long. Um, Tini seems to be chasing down the ST. Always a great move uh, in the first few seconds. Gotta get eliminated um, from the second get nice this casting. <laughs> 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 so true. Uh, <laughs> Just kidding. You're wonderful. Uh, yeah, this is why I'm not invited every time. Uh, we have 51% flirt, and now we're uh, just chilling out in a random conversation. Um, I don't hate this slow playing, even though I usually do, just because it's modern and you have the time. And the last few games have been... Well, the first two games were pretty fast-paced, so I don't hate like taking a little uh, break-off to change pace a little bit. Uh, but obviously, if you're doing something like this, you have to have some sort of game plan for the end of the game. Uh, so we'll see if that is a thing that happens. Yeah, I completely agree with you. I mean, changing up the pace is perfectly fine. And, you know, like like you mentioned, kind of like the, 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 the Kaylee style is, you know, just get a spy win here or there, however you might get them, and trust your sniper. And Martini is absolutely someone who trusts his sniper. So definitely going to throw some different spy looks and not worry too much about, you know, whether if any particular one is successful. Um... That being said, uh, this is a pretty interesting one. We're we're pulling a book out. Um, like historically, I I was wrong the last time I said this, but usually direct transfers are not something you want to do against a really good sniper. Um, but I mean, let's see if uh, maybe it just works. Uh, yeah, we're we're not even waiting a full minute. It seems I don't hate it considering, uh, like Salmon, we're blending in with uh, the back of the wall and also this bookcase, so we might not even be seen. Uh, but that zoom in that just happened makes me think that we might be a little bit suspicious, and that sneaky highlight means we're probably already dead. Yeah, um, that's like yeah. the last thing you want to see when uh, when Mini is the sniper. <laughs> it's just going to be a matter of time. Yeah, the coffin, the tombstone is already engraved. Coffin is already open. Uh, Mini just has to put Martini into that coffin. Uh, to seal that deal, but it, the game's basically over. Even this path next to Amba, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a shot that comes off, even though there's almost no way that's a bug. Yeah, kind of like you mentioned, like we were, we were at that second bookcase for a while before. Um, and the red. You know, Mini at least let on that he he noticed. Like, I almost wonder if if choosing it was the way to go in that situation. But even still, with you know, with bookcases late in the game, kind of hard to to cheese without being noticed in some way, or shape, or form. Yeah, uh, I mean, obviously, we'll never know because it didn't happen, and that's how things work. Uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, um, like, I, I think that would have been uh, just as interesting, and I think it would have been, I think more times than not, it would have been the wrong move, but also that obviously was the wrong move there because we were shot. So yeah, knows. yeah, but yeah, I suspected Mini Rec finds a shot that we were waiting for, and uh, looks like we we're gonna move on to Balcony. Kind of surprised that Balcony uh, survived the banning phase in the semifinal game. So both players feeling pretty confident in their Balcony sniping. So let's see how uh, Mini does on the spy side as Alice in three, two, one, playing it. And it's kind of funny, uh, like we talk about. It... Or go ahead. Okay, I was going to say, if there's any venue that's going to break serve, then it's going to be Balcony. 
And Mini Arc just is on AI control uh, against Martini and then immediately gets off it as soon as I say that. Great job, Mini, for <laughs> proving my point. Of the casters just uh, are cursed. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's kind of a funny. That's kind of a thing I'll do as a. Uh... We'll just say as a not so good player is I'll I'll wait for the AI to put me in conversation because I know if I enter it myself then especially against Martini I know I'm gonna get shot like a hundred percent of the time so I was kind of expecting Mini to do the same thing uh, however he does make his own way in and doesn't get a highlight so decent entry and yeah like you know we're talking about pathing venues like even though this is just a tiny little balcony this this absolutely is a, a pathing venue. Like, AIs have a very specific way of entering the conversation that you, you can, like, you know, highlight low light for. Um, and both these players are very confident in their ability to, to both spy and stand in the red. I think it is a little bit less of uh, this is a pathing venue and more of what else is there to look at? There's six people. It's not like you have to be camping for microfilm or purloin. Like, you might as well be looking at pathing if you're here. Um, yeah, we're going to... Ooh, if we hit a green here, we finish. But also, uh, we do finish the other way. Uh, and that is getting shot. Because, of course, we do. Yeah, really, really nice shot, honestly. It was a decent attempt. It looked like we were kind of on pace for uh, what I think is a three green attempt. At least, yeah, based off the percentages. Um, yeah, Martini, absolutely on it top of it. It was the white... And then oh. a cross combo wipe. Okay, it Don't just perfectly added up to the fifty-one percent. Of course. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it looks like uh, Martini going to try to answer um, as Smallman in three, two, one, playing it. Not what people think of when you say, "Oh, this is a Smallman venue," but I think Smallman can potentially do some movement in the back there to try to the end of game dance it's probably not the best venue to do it but it's the only person who can dance on this venue to any sort of extent so don't hate it for cancel hype uh, uh, also yeah flare cancel hype <laughs> and we uh, immediately pick up a highlight on that conversation entry i so most of the time i immediately say pathing but i almost want to say that's conversation positioning because like, I feel like Smallman's strength here is, like, maybe you can get a sneaky bug in if you're standing behind a giant wall of people. And and that, that seems like the right position to do so. Um, I, I could be completely wrong. That, that could have just been a bad CC entry. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of feel like maybe that was just kind of based off positioning. Because, like, if you look at where he is right now in relation to the sniper, like, you can't really see his arms. Like, I'm sure many will pan if the, if the ambassador gets in range. But, um, yeah, from this angle, you really, like, it's, it could be really hard to detect any type of bug. Yeah, I also think it's probably because we were next to Irish and then immediately went directly also next to Irish. So that could also be part of it. But, I mean, yeah, it's I balcony that... and we're small men. And in the red. So <laughs> yeah. why not? Yeah, it's um, we're, we're already suspicious just for existing. And uh, kind of doing some frantic uh, highlighting here. Apparently uh, Irish has become a suspect too. So will we get shot for this next flirt? That's really all it comes down to. I think almost certainly because we've been next to Irish the whole game. I think it's basically oh, he is the person who talks next getting shot, and it's Irish who's the other highlight. So yeah. it's possible, like it but like I don't think so. We would induce overtime if we even made it. Oh, we go for the bug, but Mini just seeing that slight little head movement that was visible is aware that that was a bug. Um, very nice awareness. Very nice uh, bug detection from Mini Rick. My heart goes out to I the think that, was... that could have won. Because uh, Martini didn't Absolutely. hit his second, second green flirt. So sad. Yeah, yeah. Always, uh, always unfortunate when those little action tests make such a huge difference. And uh, yeah, always kind of the case on balcony. Um, but yeah, still um, looks like we're gonna go ahead and move on to Tayan. So it looks like Minia Rick will be uh, spying here as Boots in three, two, one, playing it. Yeah, uh, obviously, we're still tied. So this is another venue that could break a serve, but uh, we haven't broken serve yet, so who knows? Maybe we're going to get 
another 13 overtimes. Yeah, and it's kind of like interesting how we got here too. Like we started off with the two spy wins, and then it kind of evolved into the uh, sniper party that we we kind of expected going into this. Um, yeah, mini uh, actually in a pretty good position. We get the uh, early 51% flirt, and uh, I think I mean if our SC doesn't go anywhere, probably content to just sit around and, and finish that up. Yeah, I mean, there's no real reason to red. be moving anywhere. Also, yeah, get that contact because only one person was out. Um, yeah, it's like the perfect contact situation. Real. So not not surprised at all that Mini took his chance and uh, has finished up flirt. So, you know, seeing as this is Tayen, we have tons of options for finishing here. Um, yeah, really just, just come... I mean, yeah, Mini's just kind of spoiled for choice here. Probably hoping for a bug opportunity, but... I don't feel like this is the right conversation positioning um, to do one of those sneaky tay bugs. I honestly think the play here is gulp the drink, purloin, hope it's green, and then go center statues because we've already finished flirt pretty fast, so I don't think we'd get shot. Uh, Mini Orca disagrees with me and goes to the bookshelf uh, for, I think, probably the l one of the venues that has the least amount of microphone finishes, probably. Somebody will definitely correct me on that. But, like, I don't feel like I see enough microphone finishes on Tayen just because of this uh, Shoji. And we're not yeah, getting I, one either, apparently. So Yeah, I can strongly I mean? agree with that sentiment. I, I rarely see people even do it, let alone finish it, because when they go for it, they just die. So it's... Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure the statistics might tell a different story, but... Uh, yeah, I completely agree. I, I, I wouldn't go for it here. And uh, yeah, Mini opted not to either. Um, that being said, like we kind of wasted a really good start. Like I feel like maybe one of the advantages of getting a good start like that is you can finish early and uh, you know the sniper like isn't really feeling pressure to shoot that early on. Um, now I feel like anything we do is going to kind of pick up some suspicion. That being said, uh, Queen, Queen went center statues, has at least one print, and has contact. So... um. I think Mini might have caught on to that and is waiting for uh, maybe Queen to just pick up a Civ shot. Yeah, we're getting a drink print here. Um, but yeah, we've we've definitely, I think, wasted one of the, uh, a really good start in a lot of ways. Uh, just because, obviously, like if you're going to finish that fast, you're going to want to keep going and keep that momentum so that they don't shoot, especially against Martini. Uh, and now Mini Arc is picking up a second print, and I'm assuming just going to bug behind the ambassador when returning this uh, briefcase. Uh, but no, we're just going to oh, wipe no. her line and crash, and oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, all right, we're 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 just going to dance, and it's going to not work. Uh, that was a nice try. Like, I felt like we had, like, a nice opportunity earlier for, like, a reverse drive-by, but maybe uh, Mini was just kind of planning to go for that late finish. Um I'm sure uh, breaking the glass on the purline was not part of the plans, but uh, even still, yeah, just kind of like hid behind general a little bit, but yeah, it didn't, didn't quite work out. Yeah. So, um, that's I mean, good. <laughs> action tests failing for another, another game in a row. I think that's uh, truly sad. Yep, yeah, happens to the best of us, though. So, uh, Martini going to go ahead and... Um, Spy as small men in three, two, one, playing it. So I think Minnie is saying, hey, I, I will see your shenanigans and I will raise you some small man shenanigans. I, I have no doubt in my mind that Martini is planning to set up a similar finish this time around. Oh, I mean, like, if you're going to be small men, you're going to be doing some shenanigans, especially on Tayan. This is like the small man venue after all. I don't think there's, like, you can argue potentially gallery, maybe Redwoods, but this is the Smallman venue. I think we're gonna, and as a Smallman expert, I will fight you on that. I think we're in a really good position for a reverse drive-by, depending on the path that Amba takes, as long as he doesn't go to statues. And maybe he's trying to time the contact with it, too. That would be really strong. Um, no, actually, oh, oh, very nice. Times it leaving the conversation, but it doesn't take. Oh, no, that is uh, that is just tragic. That was, that was a really nice setup, but yeah. Fortunately, we just get a highlight and no bug to show for it. 
Yeah, I think that would have been very clean. I don't. I wasn't really watching it on the sniper side, but I almost certainly that was at least almost invisible on the sniper side. So I cannot imagine that would be credited at the very least, which is a nice consolation prize, but also I'd rather have it. Um, That's a nice little redirect, too. Might have earned a highlight from some snipers, but uh, instead we get back in with the ST. We take the flirt and uh, green purloin, so... um. Oh, unfortunately, it only chains directly to the ambassador, so I feel like we're probably going to die here unless uh, unless Mini just lost track of this purloin chain. Yeah, Mini, if we had hit that bug earlier, I Mini think we would red. be in a very good position, but I think, no, nope, never mind, we're getting shot. Yeah, um, I think the problem for... with... Yeah, that's kind of just like the um, the the downside of, of small men is like your purloins are just so noticeable because, you know, Toby like bends all the way down... So, um, yeah, I think we were just known as the last person in the chain. Yeah, absolutely. We could have been the only one in the chain, but, you know. I mean, if you're facing, like, Mini York and Martini, at this point in the cup, you're going to lose a lot of spy games. So I don't hate, like, doing stuff that's off meta of doing, like, purloining a small man, because nobody would do that. But also, eh, whatever. Yeah, and just like that, we are still tied, uh, eight games in. So um, let's see if Mini can finally break serve here on Courtyard. Um, spying as Kane in three, two, one, playing it. I do believe, unless I'm remembering incorrectly, this is the double two. So it's we're going to be seeing four games of this. Yeah, this um, was, I think this was specifically Mini's double as well. Um, and right off the bat, three of the guests go into statues, so I'm sure Mini is paying very close attention to that. Uh, getting offered and just taking an innocent drink here, so um, if I had to guess, Mini is probably playing the frame game this time around. Yeah, again, I don't hate it on these three of seven venues of just hoping somebody gets shot because like nine times out of ten ish someone's going to at least finish missions and it's just a matter of are they the spy to the sniper and if you're not doing anything then there's less other suspects to be paying attention to and if there's only one or two one of them is likely to get shot so i definitely do not hate the let's just sit around and hope that somebody gets shot because of course mini would never time out uh but also we're going to be getting yet another fake real BB. So that uh, it's not great. Yeah, always a little tragic when you uh, pick up credit for a fake PB, especially like, you know, when you're, your whole your whole strategy is just to frame others. But I think we do have some important candidates that did get real. Um, I think Teal, if I'm not mistaken, Teal has credit for statues and picked up a drink print. So I think if she picks up another print at any point, she's probably just going to die. So that might be what we're banking on here. Unfortunately, Queen takes the briefcase, so that's that's gonna be out as a potential shot. Also, Queen is the SBA, so they're not gonna be shot either. Um, but as we all know, we have no idea what Martini's top suspects are because Martini's top suspects are probably based off pathing, and I don't think you know any idea about that. Not on either. So. Who knows? Maybe we're already the top suspect and we're already dead. Uh, this purloin won't help if that's the case. But we'll see how well that goes. Yeah, it looks like only a few low lights so far. So pathing is Banana probably red. not taking a. Uh, it's probably not playing a huge part this time around. Oh, and uh, just like I didn't even notice, we <laughs> picked up a purloin uh, in the midst of that. So uh, yeah, Martini holding strong, Mini deciding just to go ahead and finish wins. In, or, I'm sorry, to finish missions anyways, and uh, Martini finds the correct shot. Yeah, I mean, contact Perline both near the end. I wouldn't uh, blame Martini for crediting Flirt immediately. So, good shot. Uh, we still got a few more shots to go, though. Yep, so Sniper's still holding strong so far, so Martini gonna Try to spy as queen in three, two, one, playing it. Yeah, seeing as you know this one is a double, I wonder if like these first rounds are maybe a little strategic, like many showing like, hey, I can, I can slow play and uh, 
you know, try to test if you can, you know, hold against these these guests that are finishing missions. And then, uh, and the red. you know, maybe just try to throw a completely different game the second time around, or, I don't know, maybe even the exact same one. I, I just feel like with these 3S7 setups, you, you get to play a little bit more mind games, because, uh, like, you know, in this one in particular, like, this is more likely to have a guest actually finish missions. It's not as likely if you're going to contact immediately and only have three reels, one of which is you. But, obviously, there might be another contact later. We are all highlighting Martini could have seen that that was possibly the case. So might do a fake contact later if they're paid attention to that. But, not that... This is definitely too long to be at Windows, by the way. I'm pretty sure. Um, I, I've heard that you can be there for... I think you can be there for like an extremely long time. You just wouldn't really want to. I, I could be wrong. Like I'll, I'll trust you on that one. But I, I feel like I've heard someone say like they've specifically seen a guest stay there for like 50 seconds or something like that. <laughs> but it's one of those cases where like if you're spending that long at Windows, you're, you're probably not going to finish missions anyways. Uh, we take a couple of time ads uh, on our second trip to Windows. Yeah, I. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, we did get another contact going off, which I do like. We did get two time ads, which supposedly weren't seen. We weren't on camera, but we were also in the complete opposite corner of the sniper. So, banana bread. Not the focus of the contention at the end of the day. Uh, getting another contact. Uh, everyone's in, so I definitely don't hate the third one. Um, oh, we've got two minutes and twenty, which is uh just under the starting time. So I definitely uh don't hate this game. Yeah, what was looking like a really rough game is uh, kind of turning around. Um, I mean, we're still like one of the only highlights, so... I mean, actually, you know, I say we're one of the only highlights, we're one of the only not lowlights. <laughs> there, there's three neutrals, and then there's us as the lone highlight. I, I think uh, maybe Martini's just delaying the inevitable here. Yeah, this highlight I was think... so late, and yeah. it's such a weird time. I think it must have been a uh, kind of lately noticed time ad. Maybe. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it's it's kind of hard to imagine it being for anything else because we haven't really done much else. Um, and yeah, he seems like pretty confident. Like just the way he's moving doesn't seem really panicked at all. It's it's, it's kind of typical mini behavior, but um, but even still, like if I'm Martini, I'm, I'm probably feeling pretty good here. Like when you uh when you take these low lights, I'm sorry, when you take these time ads, it uh it really kind of messes with the sniper's endurance a little bit. You know, just all that extra time having to track, um, track missions and everything. Um, that being said, we go to statues and uh, Mini is more than happy to take that shot. Yeah, that's uh, I mean, if you're gonna sh get down to four people on a time ad, absolutely, I don't think any of them are surviving statues. Um, yeah, wonderful, wonderful catch from Mini there. Um, and we are yet again tied. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> yep, so uh, what, what initially promised to be a very spy-sided matchup kind of turned uh, into an extremely sniper-favored matchup. So um, <laughs> let's see uh, what Mini has in store here as Irish in 3, 2, 1, playing it. Yeah, I mean, like, if you're getting this far into a tournament, then almost certainly it's going to be very sniper-sided, like... I, I would venture to guess, like, uh, if you took the average of, like, the quarterfinals and finals matches, like, there's, like, maybe three or four spy wins between uh, between them. But I don't know. Someone's going to correct me on that one, too. Uh, no, I, I strongly agree with that sentiment. Like, just looking at the um, SML divisions from last year, if you just go from division to division, like, one thing that's consistent, like, across the board is... Like, that sniper win percentage just keeps scaling upwards as you go up. Um, it might have been a little... It might have been maxed out in the Master Division, but that's just because um, you had some really insane snipers in that division. But, yes, like, if, if you... Like, honestly, if anyone's looking to get good at, at Spy Party, you, you, you basically start on the sniper side and work your way from there. Yeah, wasn't, like, Rob's sniper win rate, like... I forget what it was, but it was definitely, like, 70s or 80s, I think. And it wasn't, like, that far ahead of anyone else either. So, 
absolutely like dominant snipers here. Uh, we are requesting. Oh, I'm Banana assuming bread. we're. No, never mind. We're not. We're not finding anything. We're just gonna uh, be. We just took a highlight for a known fake contact. That's uh, that's an interesting one. Um, I'm wondering if that was just be. Like, even red. though we weren't in with a DA, is it just because it was a white? Like I don't know. Uh, either way, we uh, we take this green purloin. So uh, happy. You love to see a purloin there. I'm sorry. You love to see a green test there, but uh, yeah, it does not get the chain that we need. And yeah, Martini is is always gonna find that shot. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, it's a it's a great game for Mini, um, but also an even greater shot from uh, Martini. I have right, nothing so more else to add. Absolutely. So let's see what Martini can do spying as Plane Twin in 3, 2, 1, playing it. So going straight into statues, so I haven't quite seen that attempt yet. Um, and yeah, I mean, like, why not? Um, well, okay, the, the why not is because we're not going to get the second inspect. Yeah, especially since Seek is doing a two cycle. Uh, we are, however, going to do a swap, so... Um, yeah, I don't hate it. Like, obviously, the, the party room. is going to get extremely narrowed down to just us and the swapper. But seeing how these players have sniped so far, something like this is is definitely our absolute best chance of getting a win. And, oh, Mini is on the wrong side of the statue, so he's not going to... He, he might not see the swap in time. Yeah, we're on the, yeah. we're on the mm -hmm. wrong side, and we don't have enough time to pan around and see that the swap happened. Oh my god, and just to rub it in, yeah, Martini the bug. takes the BM bug, like, right at the buzzer. Oh, you, you love to see you it. You say, oh. like, at the beginning of the set, that Swap was one of the best missions against top snipers, because no one expects it, and I think Martini is agreeing with you 100%. Yeah, that was, like, one of those, like, as I was watching it, I'm like, there's no way this works, but I respect that you're trying, and oh my god, it just worked, it's... It actually ended up being a brilliant play. Um, like all all the snipers' focus was just on that other side, and yeah, I mean, just I mean, honestly, just good spy play from Martini. So um, all of a sudden, uh, Martini seven to five up a whole venue, and uh, Mini is in the uh, honestly a pretty rare uh, situation where he needs to try to find a win on the spy side. So um, let's see if he can do it spying as Red Dress in three, two. One playing it. Finally, serve has been broken, and I do believe to win without overtime, Mini Orc has to win the next four games in a row. Um, he's just gonna swap immediately because apparently Mini Orc has learned from Martini. Um, it is not shot for it, so great, amazing, perfect. Yep. yep. So as we as we're all learning here, swap is the best mission at the Grandmaster level. Um, 100% win rate, I think, if unless I forgot one from earlier. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we uh, take the immediate swap. I, I don't think the swap is noticed, otherwise we'd just be dead. And we uh, take the two inspects and a print. So we're definitely suspect number one at this point in the game, but um, I don't think we've done enough that Martini could, you know, take any any reasonable shot, you know, anytime soon. Yeah, I'm not... A pathing expert, but I I don't know how well that briefcase did, but I could definitely see us being top suspect specifically just for that path. We're just gonna sit in a conversation and flirt, and I was gonna say presumably contact, but the DA decided to leave because of course why wouldn't they? It's a free country, uh, so we're just gonna sit next to this blue painting and just stare at it. Yeah, so I mean, gallery is. You know, we, we've had we've seen some unfortunate venues where like ST D air moving all over the place. Gallery is pretty famous for that. That being said, like when you start off with a hard tell and like you're not dead for that hard tell, you you can kind of waste some time. Uh, well, <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Martini, Martini, not wasting any time finding the shot. I don't know if that was pathing or etiquette. Um, whatever it was, Mini is now dead. So, uh, if Mini is going to catch up, it is going to have to be at a later time in overtime actually 
Uh, is, yeah, actually, Martini yeah. has eight. Yeah, hey, yep. that makes up for my bullet time from earlier. All right. <laughs> Uh yeah, Martini is an, an excellent spot. Um, absolutely. Yeah. Already got the uh, already got the tie in hand. So, yeah, really just re just really needs to hold it down on the sniper side. So, um, but first, uh, gonna go ahead and try his luck on the spy side as Disney. In three, two, one, playing it. Yeah, Disney, of course, I, I like to say is one of the worst spies, but also is one of the faster ones, and you kind of need that on a gallery, so it kind of makes up for it. So, plus also Martini doesn't need to win this next game. Martini needs to win any of the next three, so it's not like a huge, huge deal if Martini loses this game. Yeah, and I mean, it kind of makes you wonder, like, what would the strategy be, be here? Because, I mean... When you're in a situation like this, you kind of just want to chill, let them make a mistake. Um, but the games we won are the games where we've just kind of gone crazy and just like full sent it. So, like, you almost wonder if you should just keep doing that. Um, but yeah, Martini. Yeah, but also, take... if the games you, I mean, if the we're low lit. Uh, if the games you're winning are full send it, then a game like this is not going to be suspected. And apparently, I'm right because we're a low light. For some reason, yeah, I'm gonna chalk light. it up to pathing. Yeah, low light for what I can only assume was pathing, because yeah, I mean we didn't really do anything else. Um, yeah, that's uh, I think he. I mean, obviously we're talking in hindsight, but I feel like you got to be careful about pathing low lights against people who know pathing very well. Um, but maybe it's just one of those ones that is just one like so person, hard. One person you don't want to have a light a path for. It's Martini. Yeah, I, I, I guess it's just one of those situations where you're just like I, like I know a human can do that, but I just I don't think he did. It's just one of those cases like that. Um, and yeah, Mini just kind of trusting his judgment, and uh, hopefully that doesn't come back to bite him. Uh, problem is, is like yeah, we don't have much, we don't have much done, but we did get the time ad, and um, I mean. Knowing Martini, he's probably going to find his way to Mission 1 Countdown, one way or another. Yeah, because yeah, I don't think he's timed uh, out Mart yet, if, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Martini, I don't think so. Uh, Martini definitely is one of those people who tends to finish a lot more than just sit around and do nothing. Um, again, like I said earlier, they're very willing to just do something and get who mission win countdown and if they don't succeed oh well they at least got there and completed step one so i definitely don't think martini's going to be timing out here but also martini has not only went through half of their normal time but also their entire time ad and only has one flirt so i might be wrong yeah i honestly i cannot tell you how many times i've seen um a player just time out as a low light it, it happens way more often than you would think and i think it just comes down to just people have no way of knowing when they're low lights i think it's always like in situations where they just don't really expect it to happen um it looks like a martini is picking up the pace a little bit we have finished a flirt we're at the book so at least we have the potential for microfilm stuff um like seeing as how sparsely uh populated the back of the room is it seems a little risky to go for, but no, we, we go for the action test. Uh, so Martini's going to go for the two action test microfilm. Um, the only downside of that, of course, is that it just takes a really long time. So like we have to go back, do an action test, and then find two more missions on top of that. So uh, yeah, this is uh, this is going to be a close one. Um, and we still have to get a contact, just the DA has been out. And I'm assuming this is going to be a dead briefcase, and it is. So, like, even though I just said I don't think Martini's going to time out, Martini might very well time out, which is going to be very, very unfortunate if they do. Yeah, that's one of those things where, like, if you go back and check the replay, it's it's really going to kind of get under your skin because it's like, oh, I, I just threw away a free free spy one, <laughs> which you know, of course, you never really want to do. Um, but seeing as Martini is, you know, already ahead in the match, he, uh, I'm sure he won't be too bothered by it. So yeah, we, we do the other animation microfilm wide out in the open. I, th I think at this point Martini has to know he's a low light, so let's see if he just goes for it. 
Yeah, yeah we so do we have are to requesting. Our line here because we need that mission, and it's going to be green. And I'm assuming we're going to go directly in to take this contact, but now we're bugging. Just like that, we're at Mission One Cowtown, um, and yeah, we're uh, we're not gonna. I don't think we're getting shot here. All right, so Mini clearly sees the clock hanging. Does he have the chain? He thinking it through, but I don't think. Yeah, no. Just takes the shot on a civilian because we low lit the spy first minute. And just uh, like that, Martini takes down the mighty Mini Auric. And is going for the uh, going to the finals of a seasonal cup for what I believe is the first time for him, so uh, that is going to be exciting. And yeah, I mean, I, I feel like you know these, like we mentioned, you know these these two players, like they're both quite good at pathing, but it's like that, yeah, maybe just like that little bit difference in pathing knowledge, just plus plus uh, Martini's willingness to just kind of go crazy on the spy, uh, just you know led to like that was kind of key to his victory here today. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely amazing plays by Martini, and I do believe that Martini has absolutely earned their spot uh, into finally getting into a finals match, unless I'm forgetting one, um, which I very well might be. But congratulations to Martini. Uh, good luck to both, um, and I'm assuming somebody who is not me will be casting that next week. Yeah, absolutely looking forward to that final. Um, I mean, Martini looks amazing. It kind of looks like he's ascending to that, you know, next level. And Nebula looks terrifying, as always. Um, I cannot wait for the match between those two. I love that matchup. I love that they're both amazing, both at pathing and at tech. And I can't wait to see the, the spy plays. And um, yeah, to everyone watching, thank you for joining us today. And look forward to seeing you next time.